Hello everyone, Dust Bunny Major here from Slackers to Cover, ready to slay the Spire. Ending our Silent Run last episode, uh, we're gonna actually start off with the Ironclad again. Uh, Silent, I think we did well, but nowhere near as good as the Ironclad, but we're still new to the game, so it's, it's a steep learning curve to learning how different card synergies work. Uh, Ironclad being the heavy hitter, let's see what we can do. Second time we've been playing as him. Exordium, greetings. Oh. Who's just starting relic? Obtained a random boss relic. Oh, they did. Mm, I like that one. In combat, heals 6 HP. That's kind of important. A random boss relic. Now let's take a random common relic. Might be amazing. We get, we got, upon pickup, choose upgrade and attack. I'm putting cart. Oh, we just get a free. <laughs> Essentially, we got an upgrade. Um, yeah, it's just an upgrade. Um, let's upgrade. Let's bash actually get three vulnerability and ten damage. I like it, but let's just pick a normal strike for now. Nine damage upgrade. Granted. All right, how are we gonna do this to start? I really want to find an elite because the elites give good stuff. A shop going from this way. We get a question mark, a shop, a boss, boss, and elite. Let's go this way. So we go enemy, question mark, shop, question mark. We'll, we'll see how we do. We, we might diverge right off the path here. Three damage right off the bat. Eight damage applied to vulnerability. Kind of just want to do that. Just uh, can we take him out though? Two vulnerable, one to be six strike. It's gonna get seven block as soon as we make a move on him. Now let's just smack him. Do the defense. And in turn. Take a status debuff. Block the five damage. He's hurting. Take him out next turn and do a little bit of damage to this dude over here. I've got our extra strike. Guaranteed six damage, but he's already taking an extra 50% damage, so technically a strike one should do just fine to knock him out. Uh, six damage. Seven, gain that. Drop the fence down. We're good to go. Let's roll. First battle shouldn't be too hard. Third turn. And you got no more safety saves on that, so you're down, son. Spoils. Uh, Infernal Blade, add a random attack to your hand. It causes zero this turn. Exhaust. And flex. Flex. Flex is amazing. We're going with flex. Uh, question mark. But guys, as you walk in the room, you hear a gurgling and the grinding of metals. Before you use a slime like creature, they eat too much to grab for its own good. From the center of the creature, you see glints of strange light. Perhaps something magical? Looks like you could get some treasure if you just reach inside. It's opening. However, the acid and sharp objects may hurt. <coughs> There's 3 HP, 25% finder relic. Let's go work. Success! After rummaging the metal and burning acid, you finally grab hold of a relic and yank it out. You pull your way out of the ooze, damage for reward. What do we actually get? Gain energy on the first turn of each cop. That sounds amazing! Yeah, that was well worth, well worth the burn. So we don't have a choice, but we're going to the shop have 116 HP, so we could probably manage something. A uh, ornamental fan would have been amazing. Can't do that. At least start of each combat game, one is extension. That's pretty cool, too. Oh my gosh. Energy is now conserved between turns. Holy moly. Every time you play five cards in a single turn, deal 10 damage to all enemies. I'm not gonna lie. That's, that's actually pretty awesome. Friend fire. Exhaust your hand. Deal 7 damage for each exhausted card. Exhausted. Ooh. Gain one vulnerability and dealt nine damage to gain energy, lose three HP. Rupture whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. Hmm. I don't really have the money for anything too crazy. I'm not a huge fan of Reckless Charge, yeah. though. I mean, nine damage is nice. I may just pass up on this for now. Alright. Is what it is. Let's do an let's do an unknown. Maybe we'll get lucky again. Hey, we got lucky again. Thread needle. Start of each combat, gain five plated armor. <laughs> nice. 
That's awesome. This guy out of five hurdle armor. That's uh, end of the turn. Game five block, and then as we each take a hit, it's gonna go four, three, two, one. We're gonna get less and less block down the line. Flex, deal 10 damage, apply two vulnerable. That's amazing, because we can do bam, knock you down, and now this is gonna do so much more damage effect. Let's just mess you up. Look at this, we almost got you down right away. Kakaa! Kakaa to you too. Well, and you're dead. <laughs> We're back to full HP. Fiend Fire, exhaust your hand, deal 7 damage. This is the one we just saw. I actually really, really like the idea of this. And as far as if we get a bunch of cards in hand, this could potentially do a lot of damage. This would be a great finisher. Now let's take on this elite enemy. Ooh, you guys again. The gates one debuff across the board. Now it's the gate one debuff, which means two vulnerable should one of these should get through. No? Actually no it doesn't. Okay. Fair enough. In this case, uh gain five. So I drop these two sixteen, I can have sixteen. Oh yeah, I have fifteen block. Let's do that. We'll buff up. I might have this, and we're gonna be up to 50 block at the end, which means we're only gonna take one damage. You're gonna lose two plates. Only one. Okay. That's enough. Seven damage for each exhausted card. Exhaust. Does this improve as I do this? I don't know. But if I did, say one, two, three, four, we could almost one strike that guy. Nine damage for each ex exhausted card, so one, two, three, twenty-seven, eh, not quite. Gonna have to five block this sucker. And strike, strike? Maybe. I could do 18 instead of 16 to the guy, but this gets it out of my hands. It exhausts it from the combat. Uh, risky, yes. Let's let's do it. Okay, it only counts. I, I was actually doing more of a test, also. I wanted to see if the, the card itself gets countered. I guess not. We're about to get messed up. Now we are running on less cards than normal. Flex, we got another wound. Nothing I can really do out of this, but I can pop all that because I can. Why not? We're about to get a lot of wounds into our deck. Two wounds. Four wounds. Six wounds. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Now, is there any good way to do this to you without wasting? I mean, that's 8 damage to a vulnerable. Uh, let's just do... Strike to knock you down. Uh, I guess that is gonna not quite affect you. And hurry, I'm taking 16 damage again. Oh boy. This isn't going well. Also, more wounds. No wounds. Plate armor is gone. Our spare, um, everything is gone. <clears throat> Let's, since we're not, you're not doing any damage, you're just making it inconvenient for me. Let's do as much damage as we can. Should we really get this guy down? No problem next turn. <laughs> but I say no problem. I mentioned I'm getting uh, a lot more wounds in. Yeah, we're getting a lot of wounds. We're, we're getting overtaken by wounds. Um, 11 damage, that should knock you out, no problem. And then I can at least drop 5 block on here, in my turn. Take 3 damage, I'll have to get some more heal, some healing up. 
Oh boy. Entry. At least I get to block all the damage this time around. <sighs> that blows. Oh look, two more wounds. We are not having a good time right now. Alright, bash, eight damage. Uh, strike would be nine damage. I could drop five on. Let's be a little bit defensive here. Uh, protect myself, take three damage. Hope we get actual attacks. No, we have no attacks, but at least we can block. Being overtaken by wounds. We have so many wounds and nothing else. Nah, nah th this is... Game over? Almost. <clears throat> Alright. Two more wounds. Why? Why the wounds? For real. As long as we get n at least an attack, we're good. Let's go. A little bit of heal. Champion belt. Whenever you apply vulnerable, you also apply one weak. Vulnerable creatures take 50% more damage from attacks. Weak creatures. I can, I can dig it. That's awesome. Bludgeon. What? Yeah, I'd be good with that. I mean, that's like a heavy, like, kadoosh hit, but uh, I like it. Now, we do have 50 HP. I could do a shop. I kind of like the idea of fighting enemies getting more cards. How about 162? Let's go in the shop and see if there's anything with the 162 we can get. Huh. Madness, a random card in your hand costs zero for the rest of combat. That sounds amazing. Skill cell is zero whenever you play a skill exhausted. That does not sound amazing. It's the start of boss combat, heal 25. That sounds amazing. So you lose HP in combat, gain three blocks next turn. Increase your max HP by 10. Yeah, I feel like I just don't have the HP for some really awesome stuff. Panache is so expensive this time. Uh, Madness sounds amazing, actually. Random card in your hand costs zero for the rest of... I mean, it, you, it blow it up, but you make something free. That could be great. Corruption skills cost zero whenever you play. It's a power... I feel like this would be great if I got some really powerful cards. I could pop this and just, as long as I had powerful cards, I could blow through anything I want. In fact, I'm going to pick it up. I can't guarantee I'm going to use it ever, but I'll pick it up. Let's see. Take out this dude here. It's just a slaver. Bludgeon right off the bat. 32 damage. That could be painful. 41 damage is almost enough to kill you. <laughs> Kinda, I'm, I'm tempted. Hang on. 7 damage for each exhausted card. 1, 2, 3, 4. That'd be 28 damage. I could do 30 damage. It would almost, I mean, bludgeon. But let's be real here, folks. That's awesome. Screw it. We're just gonna do this. Look. Oh! I just wanted to see what that skill looked like. That's awesome. Yeah, block a little bit, take seven hits. I... Oh no, I forgot, plate armor. So we're gonna take two damage. Two damage, not bad at all. Madness. Yeah, okay. Defend is free, awesome. Strike. And a boosh. Are you for real? Hmm, like I messed this up slightly. Well. We got plated armors can protect us. We are gonna get inflicted by something, but he's he's so dead next turn. It's not funny. Scoop. He's done. Six HP heal. Explosive potion and a card to my deck. Seeing red, gain two energy. Exhaust. To 13 damage. Apply one weak and one vulnerability. That's amazing. And pummel strike. That's not bad to draw a card. I do like the free two energy though. Uses one energy, gain two energy. It can be used 
goblin situations. Vajra, the start of each combat, gain one strength. Okay, so it's just innate strength. Oh, that's, that's amazing. We'll take it. Um, I feel like HP isn't too hard to come by on this particular character, so let's run what we got. Now, this is just straight up gain two energy. Not gonna lie, that actually interests me. Uh, that doesn't cost much. Bludgeon, 42 damage. My gosh. 10 damage for each exhausted card. That's also pretty impressive. Flex, I feel like... I feel like a solid 4 strength for 0 cost. That's pretty good. Let's roll with this. Um, I have 49. It's pointless to get go to the shop right now. So let's just fight a dude. Or three in this case. We got some flex going. Uh, four energy, so one, two, three, four. Not gonna help me out, really, in doing an extra thing. So let's, uh, let's do 14 damage. We can at least drop the heaviest hitter over here. Skadoosh, you're dead. Sorry, dude. Uh, 13 and apply vulnerable. Again, not, not really there's a point. And let's just throw a defense out there because we can. Spit web, you know what, is it one ability? Weekend. All we're gonna do is 12 damage to you, sir. You know what, since he's only got 12 damage to go, let's just pop this out. I thought this was... Skills cost zero. Oh, skills cost zero. Oh, that's actually not bad. Skills cost zero and exhaust them. So, defense essentially makes our defenses free. Or in this case, we can just be that guy. Just 12, 20. Yeah, let's just do this. Skadoosh. Fiend fire. You're dead. Heal up 6 HP, we get an elixir, exhaust all status and cure curse cards from our hand. That sounds an awesome. Awesome thing. Blood for blood costs one less energy for each time you lose HP in battle, deal 16. Armaments gain 5 black and red cards in your hand for the rest of comp. I don't have to read the others. Armaments is amazing. Um, let's go here and then we can find another elite boss up here. Oh, we got the thief. Clear turn, let's go. Attack. Mm, he's gonna do 10 damage. Now, don't forget, we are getting 5 defense right off the bat. So let's, uh, let's do a bash. Up him down, vulnerable him down a little bit. Weaken him a little bit, and then throw out strike and do 10 damage. You can't do anything, kid. So take my gold. I'm gonna get you down before that. Fiend fire. Get five block, upgrade a card in your hand for the rest of combat. Mm. Let's see. Eight. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, I mean, really. <laughs> That's just like solid kill. And card to deck, armaments, ah, oh, iron wave. I remember this from the first time. Five block and five damage is solid as heck. Um, we could heal up, but I really want to fight this elite, so let's go over the question mark. See if maybe we get something good. Oh, I, I, honestly, that's what I was going to do if we went to a, a campfire was upgrade a card. So, hey, card upgrade. Let's go. Corruption seeing red, armaments. Upgrade all cards in your hand for the rest of the I, I don't even have to think about that, yes. Alright. Elite boss, let's go. Ooh, it's you. The Gremlin noob. Fiend Fire Armaments Plus. Well. Easy enough to do. 8 damage and 7 block. And I don't really need a 
defense. I don't have a reason to use you right now, so it's fine. We'll just bank the energy. And rage he gains two strength every time we play a skill. This is yeah, this is a skill. In your hand cause zero for the rest of combat. I mean there's nothing hit us good. So is what it is. This is drop uh, five defense. Two strength. We're gonna gain five for the end of combat, and we're gonna be blocked through that. We are gonna take some sort of negative effect out of that, but that's cool. We we got it. Vulnerable, so we're taking 50% more damage. That bludgeon, though. 33 damage. My gosh. Um we don't have a way to protect ourselves, so how about we do the hey. No, that's not quite enough. Yeah, we're just gonna bludge it. We'll take we'll eat the twelve. That's a lot to eat. But it is what it is. We're not eating the full twelve, we're just eating the seven, because once again I forgot about our our woven plate thing. Okay, this is a skill, and that's a skill. Well, that's what it is. Is this worthwhile? We'll gain five block out of it. Wow, he's got 27 damage, man. That's a skill. I, I need to use this. Okay, he's at 30 damage now. This is an attack. Um... Oh no, we're out of energy. Wait, I can use a skill, which is gonna upgrade him back up to 24. But, he's dead. Problem solved. What do we get? Calipers. At the start of your turn, lose 15 block rather than all of your block. Oh, so if we have more than 15 block at the start of our turn, we'll just lose 15 of it. And the rest will stay. That's potentially really helpful. This arm, deal damage equal to your current block. Anger is amazing. Take that. I have this. I could heal up, but kind of let's smith. Let's see, seeing red being a freebie card. Six damage, place a copy of this card, your discard pile. I mean, that's essentially every anger after that is also. This is seven block, seven damage. It's also a mang, I think. I think getting just free two energy when we need it. <clears throat> that's that's very useful. Alright. Heading on in. Slime guy. Hmm. Game block, upgrade all cards in the hand for the rest of the Yes. Just yes. Skills cause zero whenever you play skill, exhaust it. I like it, but uh, how much damage would we do? I mean, it'd be a skill, not attack. Two, four, that wouldn't be right. Let's drop this on him. Drop this on him. I, I'm gonna. Luckily, I got plenty of defense. Draw reduction. It happens. Bludgeon, 33 damage. It's okay, we got this. Sing red up, 5 out of 3. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do... Vulnerable to you. Means you're gonna take 50% more damage. Drop this. Just KO you in the face. And yeah, you're hurting a little bit. I mean, you're gonna split 64, so what is it, 32 a pop? No, you, you everyone gets 64. Okay, you don't split like I thought you would in a normal world. Five block. Uh, two points to you, two points to you. 15, recovered. So I got weaken and vulnerability and my frail, I gain less block, yeah. No bueno, and I have 
draw reduction, I believe. Gain three block, gain three block. I mean, I'm gonna just pop it just because it's gonna get discarded regardless. Lick, more weakened, more weakened. You guys are all about throwing weakening right now. Apply three weak. Ooh, baby. How about I throw weak on you? Throw this. Ten damage off everybody. I need to gain... I need to drop vulnerable on one of you guys and anger on somebody else. I mean, if I had something to really defend is kind of important. It's going to be 8, so it's going to be 28 damage I take. Ouch. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go whole, whole hog on you over here. I'll drop what I can on you. Anger being put to my deck. And I'm about to take... Well, I'm about to take, uh... 8 damage, it looks like. At least I interrupted you. It's about to get bad. Do that, do that. 11 damage for each exhausted card, so we do 33 on a single target. That's not quite where I want to go. But that would interrupt you. How much do I need to knock you down? To 33. I could interrupt you, but that's going to be 16 damage off of this. Ow, oh, man. There's no really good method to do right now. I could just one drop one of these guys. Interrupt you, but I'm going to take 16 damage out of it. I kill you with 18. Well, 18, I can't kill you. I hate to say it, I actually think we need to just blow up one of these guys right here. The uh, 11, 22, 33. I can do 33. Just drop you for less damage on me. That's going to force you to split. Should force you to split. Yeah, this should force you to split. Let's do this. Force split, interrupt. Drop you down, take 16. Yep, it's gonna hurt. It's just gonna hurt real bad. A wound. And a wound. And now we have a lot of slimes on field. Block, upgrade all cards in my hand. That's gonna be all of two. Why are you worth zero and you're worth? Oh yeah, yeah, because you became zero because of the um, the other skill. We play a skill exhaust. <laughs> That's really not a a good idea. Okay, I me you've screwed myself slightly. I feel like we should. Kill the easiest to kill ones first. 22 block is not going to be enough to protect myself from these guys. Here I go, taking a full hit. Ow, and more wounds. For legend, I can essentially knock someone down without fail, just kill, just bam. Let's do that against the guy that's attacking. Save ourselves the damage, get rid of him, he's gone, boom. Problem solved on that one. We're gonna take a lot of wounds just, just now. Or a lot of weakens, pardon me. That's, that's just as bad, honestly. Okay, two guys are willing to damage us. All your cards. Three block check. Uh, is there any way I can do damage to you? Wait, 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 wait. Be vulnerable, I can do that. 
now 8 damage, and then 5 damage is 13 damage. That may work out with 5 damage doing additional damage. But I'm gonna eat a full 8 damage again. 7 damage, awesome. Yeah, I'm eating a full 8 damage again. That's gonna hurt. But I mean, this is the final boss. So if I kill him, I get full healed next next turn, next uh, stage. Awesome. Attack, it's an anger. Can I do 28 damage to you somehow? No, I do 20 damage to you though. Yeah, I'm gonna have to eat the damage again. Oh. Since we're in desperate times, let's just pop a corruption. Every skill we use from now on is gonna be free, but like gonna get exhausted the second we use it. That's a lot of wounds. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that's not fair at all. Let's upgrade all the wounds. <laughs> yeah, there's there's no even point even attacking this turn. Let's just get debuffed. Let me be done with it. Debuff. So much frail. Oh, baby attacks. Skills. We got all Sosa goodies. Okay, let's uh, drop our way when you gain 5 block. Um, attack, attack, attack. A bash. Damage you. Dead, you. Seven damage on you. She isn't enough to kill you, but you're dead next turn, son. Mm, we almost didn't have an attack. That would have been amazing. <laughs> 97 gold. Nice. A poison potion and a gold card. A bludgeon, a berserk. If your HP is at or below 50%, Gain energy at the start of each turn. That honestly sounds pretty good. But, oh, that demon form, though. Two strength at the start of each turn. We're going full defensive margin. Yeah, that, that sounds pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm on something amazing. What we got? Runa Cube. Max HP is lowered by 20%. Whenever you lose HP, draw one card. So that would lose us 8 HPs, we'd be at 72, we'd be at about silent HP. Upon pickup, choose and transform 3 cards and upgrade them. Transform cards become a random card of any rarity. Or Sozu, gain energy at the start of each turn, you can no longer use potions. Potions are kind of important. Uh, I kind of like the idea of drawing a card every time we lose HP. Because that could be so useful. It's such a weird relic bonus. Let's go with that. Proceed. So yeah, we... Oh, okay, we lost actually more HP than I thought we were going to. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 20% would have actually been 16, not 8. Math bad with me. Well, so we're actually at 64 HP max. So yeah, that'll be interesting. So, hey, thanks everyone for watching. For more news and information about what's going on or what may be, check out the description below. If you like what you saw and want to see more, like it, slap the like button, bash that subscribe button, and share the content. It helps out a lot. This is Dustman Avenger Sonny off for now, folks. Until next time, bye.